hello and a huge welcome to this video i'm scorpion from how to do and in this video we will be learning how to convert this kind of a simple 2d game into an android game so this is what we made in the previous video so we were able to move around and jump and then this is a jetpack and when we go ahead and take the jetpack we can use the jetpack like that all right so something like that so now i want to change this whole game into an android game like i want a joystick over here and then i want some buttons for the jump and then there will be a button for the jetpack all right so how will we do that uh, basically that is really really easy but before i start uh, i want to tell you guys that if you haven't seen my previous videos go ahead and watch them first because you won't be able to understand what is happening over here because i have made some scripts uh, one is character controller script and let me just quickly show you guys this one of them is this and then there is a movement all right so and there is a jetpack all right so all of these are made by c sharp and uh yeah you should see the previous videos first so link will be in the description box below so go ahead and see them first with that said let's get started now one thing what you need to do is you need to see what is the version of unity that you're using in my case i was using unity 2018.1 i guess but then i updated it to uh, 2018.3 because that is needed in this video because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to asset store and we're gonna search for come on come on okay so we're gonna search for joystick pack all right so joystick pack and this is the best asset that i have found on the asset store uh yeah it is the best joystick pack and there we go that's the first one all right it's free let me just go ahead and open it up and it says that it supports unity version 2018.3 or higher all right so you need to have uh, unity 2018.3 or higher i have 2018.3.1 so it will work for me if you don't have unity 2018.3 uh, or less than that then you should quickly update it because it won't give you an error because uh, but it will help you a lot all right so new unity versions have loads of things so it says all assets from this pack are already in your project so i have already imported this so you have just have to download it and just simply import it all right i have already done that and when you do that you will be able to see this folder joystick pack when you open it up you will see that there are some uh, folders one is prefabs so you need to use that and there are different type of uh, joysticks one is dynamic joystick one is fixed joystick one is floating joystick and one is variable joystick all right so in my case i will be using the fixed joystick all right uh, so what we can do is before we just let's let's just drag it inside of uh, unity so if i press f it is over here but we cannot see anything in here why because joysticks need a canvas all right so how we do that is we go ahead and say right click ui and a canvas when we do that you can see there is a thing out here and then when we draw and uh, drag the fixed joystick inside of the canvas you will see that there is something in there and it's already set over here all right so it's in my case it's already set in the left position that is the position which i want so now if you play the game of course it won't work it won't be able to uh, uh, move the uh, player but you can see that it is working all right we can move the joystick over here and yeah cool all right with that done let's go ahead and tweak some of our code in order to move our character with that so let me just go to visual studio and go to movement this is the script which we made in the previous videos and this is the line of code that we wrote for our player that takes the input uh, get access raw horizontal so instead of that i'm just co gonna copy this thing copy and go down and paste it and i'm gonna just go ahead and comment it by doing the two slashes so now it's a comment it's not gonna read uh, but it's there so what we can do is instead of this input dot get access raw we have to do something with the joystick all right but before we do that we also have to connect the joystick with our uh, script so in order to do that I'm gonna just go ahead and say public and say joystick and this is the joystick 
and I'm gonna go ahead and say call it joystick joystick there we go so now there is a variable of type joystick and it's called the joystick I'm gonna go ahead and save the script and come back to unity and go to my player and in a, uh, in some time you will see that there will be an empty slot over here called the joystick there we go there we go there is an empty slot in joystick and we have to just drag and drop our joystick inside of there now our joystick is connected to our player script okay uh, then what we need to do is we just have to go ahead and delete this input dot get access raw horizontal instead of that we just have to say joystick dot horizontal there we go that is that believe me or not it is gonna work I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna play the game and you will see that it is gonna work come on so there we go now our player is moving with the joystick and the thing is that when you move the joystick a little bit the player is also gonna move slowly like it's directly proportional to how longer or how further away the joystick is right okay so now we need to have some kind of a button over here which will tell us to jump all right so yeah we have to do that so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the canvas and I'm gonna say right click UI and a button all right so as you can see the default button is really really stupid and you can see it's looking really stupid so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the look of this button by going and first I'm gonna delete the text and then I'm gonna go to button and instead of the UI sprite uh, this one instead of this I'm gonna go ahead and change it to something else like a kind of a circle thing or something like th this one come on yeah I'm gonna use this one this one a simple circle or this one alright I'm gonna use this one and as you can see it's not set like that so I'm gonna go ahead and increase it like that and there we go now I can bring it over here and just quickly set it up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to canvas and instead of a constant pixel size we're gonna go ahead and scale with screen alright and then I'm gonna say 1920 by 1080 okay so now we can simply take our button and bring it over here and it should be set there we go cool uh, sorry there we go now this is our jump button so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and rename it to jump okay so with that done let's just go to our script again okay so let's just go ahead and in order to use the button what I think I should do is I should come over here and I should go ahead and say public void and jump this will be a method that we will call whenever we press that button and when we are in here we wanna set the jump equals true that is that folks that is that save that come back and now you have to connect the jump button with the player movement script so just say press this uh, plus button and then drag and drop your player inside of it uh, there we go and then go ahead and say no function and there is some movement and there is a jump method that we've just made so click that and now we should be able to jump whenever we press this button all right there we go now we are jumping using this button and then we can move around and we can jump now there is another button that we should make in order to you know for the uh, what is it the uh, jetpack system so in order to do that I'm gonna just do the same thing so go ahead and control D for duplicating that and I'm gonna call this button uh, jetpack and you just don't need to uh, move it around just be let it be there all right okay uh, come over here and this time I'm gonna go ahead and say public make a new method void and it will be jetpack and there we go and this time what I'm gonna just do okay so you don't have you okay oops sorry okay 
okay so um, now what you need to do is you need to as you can see we made a get jetpack variable that we uh, that we enable and disable whenever we take the jetpack from here all right so we're gonna check that if we have the jetpack so we are gonna say if get get jetpack equals true then and only then we will be able to jump uh, jetpack use the jetpack right so I'm gonna say jetpack equals true there we go and I think that will be it I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go ahead and disable the jump for now for now and this is the jetpack button not the ju jump button all right so if I press it nothing should happen okay he's jumping of course we haven't connected the jump uh, jetpack button so go to your jetpack button and instead of the uh, movement dot jump we're gonna use the movement dot jetpack there we go now when I play the game and when I press this button nothing should happen so as you can see nothing is happening because we don't have the jetpack and then we come over here we can use the jetpack cool right okay so now what we need to do is we need to enable and disable these two buttons uh, on the basis of uh, if we have taken the jetpack or not so that will be really really easy so go to your movement script and we have to go ahead and add a public game object game object and this will be called jump button jump button and the same one just it will be the jetpack button jet back button there we go all right so there are two game objects one is jump button and one is jetpack button so when the game starts when the game starts the jump button equal uh, dot set active dot set active equals false uh, no true because we wanted the jump button to be visible and the uh, jetpack button dot set active equals false okay and then um, when the get jetpack equals true so it can be over here or we also made it over here right so I'm gonna just put it over here so when the get jetpack equals true so we want to just invert these guys so I'm gonna copy this one and paste this one so when we take the jetpack we want the jump button to be false Come on. and the jetpack button to be true which means it will be active and it won't uh, the jump, jump button won't be active so I'm gonna so save that come in here and now everything should be working and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the jetpack button and I'm gonna set it to something like a reddish the game is stuck okay there we go I'm gonna set it something like reddish so that we can know that that there has been a change so now when we play the game it should be white there we fuck <laughs> uh, uh, okay jump button is not setting to uh, the jetpack is not setting to false okay of course I haven't set it to player <laughs> I always forget that you don't have to forget that all right so jump button comes to the jump button and the jetpack button comes to gen jetpack button there we go so now everything should work so now when we play the game it should be white there we go all right so now we can only jump we cannot use the jetpack of course uh, come over here and now it's red which means now we have the jetpack thing so now there we go and uh, you can use this red thing but I don't think so I will be using that because uh, you know we should it should look like it's the same button right it should look like so that we are using the same button for the jetpack and the jump so now it's the same button but we are using the jump button okay so and that is working quite nicely and we can also use the uh, keyboard if you want to use the keyboard you just have to go ahead and uh, remove these two columns uh, these two slashes and save it and do that 
and now we should be able to use the keyboard as well as the joysticks and the buttons all right so we can move around and use that and okay so quite nicely working right cool so that is that guys hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do and in the next videos i think i will be adding a uh weapon system something like this one like this is the final game which, which i think we should make uh so i'm gonna add a weapon system something like this one oops oh <laughs> weapon system something like this one alright so we can shoot around and there will be different bullets fuck these are spikes you don't have to stand on <laughs> so we will have different weapons like this is pistol so you have to shoot three times in order to kill someone so uh, this is the shotgun so you have to kill, uh, shoot two times in order to kill and yeah this is the sh this is the that okay so hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do and i will see you in my next video till then be cool